Archbishop Carlo Maria Vigano has yet once again warned us of the deep church and the deep state, and he's naming names this time. He names the big three, Klaus Schwab, George Soros, and Bill Gates. And he notes that what was once conspiracy theory has become conspiracy fact. They're heading to a one world government. They're heading to a great reset. And at root, it is diabolical. And this is the message of Carlo Maria Vigano. If you're a subscriber to my podcast on this channel, if you've listened to anything I've had to say for the past four years, you know that Archbishop Vigano is a prophetic voice inside the Catholic Church. He's probably the leading critic of Pope Francis, of the College of Cardinals, of Vatican officials, and yes, even going back to the 1960s with the Second Vatican Council, the revision of the liturgy and the sacraments, and especially the traditional Latin Mass. So today, I'm going to look at recent comments published by Archbishop Vigano. And if you want to follow along, you can go to my website, taylormarshall.com forward slash Vigano, and you can download this document and read it for yourself. Here is his recent document. It's an intervention for the medical doctors of a certain virus. I'll leave it at that. And I'm going to scroll down and get us into some of the meat of this document, in particular his comments on Schwab. He says, Klaus Schwab instructed heads of government almost all coming from the Young Global Leaders for Tomorrow program of the World Economic Forum about the future steps to be taken in view of establishing a world government. Skipping a bit here, he says, Klaus Schwab said, in the fourth industrial revolution, the winners will take it all. So if you are a World Economic Forum first mover, you are the winners. These very serious statements have two implications, says Archbishop Vigano. The first is that the winners will take it all and will be winners. It is not clear in what capacity and with whose permission. The second is that those who do not accept, sorry, those who do not adapt to this fourth industrial revolution will find themselves ousted and will lose. They will lose everything, including their freedom. This is part of the warning. When it comes to social media, when it comes to economics and banking, when it comes to even real estate, and when it comes to governmental aid, if you're not on board with what Schwab and the billionaires are pushing, you will not be a winner. The winners will take all. That means the losers lose all. This is the warning of Archbishop Vigano. Now, a little bit lower in this article, he names names. And this is where he talks about George Soros, Bill Gates, and also Klaus Schwab. Quote, I know that two centuries of Enlightenment thought, revolutions, atheistic materialism, and anti-clerical liberalism have accustomed us to thinking of faith as a personal matter, or that there is not an objective truth to which we must all conform. But this is the fruit of the propedeutic indoctrination, one that happened long before what is happening today. It would be foolish to believe that the anti-Christian ideology that drove the secret sects and Masonic groups of the 18th century had nothing to do with the anti-Christian ideology that today drives people like Klaus Schwab, George Soros, and Bill Gates. I'll pause here. He's saying, look, in the 1700s, there were secret societies. We identify them as the Freemasons. You may think, uh-oh, we're getting all tinfoil hat here. It's getting kind of conspiracy theory sounding. Now listen, the people, the men, the leaders, you might call them the influencers, of the 1700s had such radical ideas they could not publish them. They could not speak openly about them because they were subversive to Christianity, to the church, and to the state. So they created societies that were secret where they could discuss, publish, and plan they were fearful, fearful of their lives, so they had secret societies. Today, 
they're not so secret. They don't have to be. They played the long game. In a way, they're winning. And what Vigano is saying is those secret societies with those subversive ideas that were anti-Christian have now taken root. They've received fertilizer and they've grown into the weeds of secular humanism and of globalization. And leaders in that thought process today don't have to be in a secret Masonic society. They can be out in the open. And he names them Klaus Schwab, Great Reset, George Soros, Political Subversive, and Bill Gates, the godfather of technology and population control. Archbishop Vigano then says, the driving principles are the same. Rebellion against God, hatred for the church and humanity, and destructive fury aimed against creation and especially against man because he is created in the image and likeness of God. End quote. Archbishop Vigano, a little bit later, he makes some great points here and I encourage you to read it, but he quotes Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. Our battle is not against creatures made of flesh and blood, but against the principalities and powers, against the rulers of this world of darkness, against the spirits of evil that dwell in the heavenly places. End quote. He cites St. Paul here, says, you know, ultimately our enemies are not Bill Gates, not Schwab. Our enemies are the demonic principalities, the satanic powers, the fallen angels who are influencing fallen humans to pursue a Luciferian and satanic agenda on planet Earth. Our Lord Jesus Christ came to this Earth to save us and destroy the works and the pomps of the devil. That's why he taught us to pray, Thy will be done on Earth as it is in Heaven. Satan wants it to be on Earth as it is in Hell. That's why just below this, Archbishop Vigano talks about the city of God, which serves Jesus Christ. And then there is the city of man or the city of the devil, which lies, deceives, and kills. And with that city of the devil, Archbishop Vigano identifies the New World Order, the United Nations, and the World Economic Forum, as well as the European Union, the World Bank, and the IMF, the International Monetary Fund. He also includes philanthropical foundations that support these wicked agendas, in particular, those that support abortion and euthanasia. We, who belong to the city of God, must fight, must wage war, must battle against these dark forces, these spiritual and demonic principalities and powers. And how do we do that? We do that through prayer and fasting. That's what Jesus Christ taught us. The apostle said, we couldn't get these demons out. And Jesus said, some of them only come out by prayer and fasting. Christ is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He has power over all these things. We must become small. We must become little. We must become humble and beg his almighty hand to drive them out. Here at the conclusion, there's one more great quote from Archbishop Vigano. He said, It is now clear that everything is linked together without having to dismiss those who say so as conspiracy theorists. The conspiracy is already there. We are not inventing it. We are simply denouncing it, hoping that people will wake up from this suicidal narcosis and demand that someone put an end to the global coup. The operations of social engineering and mass manipulation have demonstrated beyond any doubt that this crime was premeditated and how it is consistent with a, quote, spiritual vision of the conflict that is now unfolding. It is necessary to take sides and fight without giving in the truth, which is an attribute of God cannot be canceled by error and life cannot be defeated by death. Remember that the Lord, who has said of himself, I am the way, the truth, 
and the life has already defeated Satan. And what remains of the battle serves only to give us the opportunity to make the right choice to choose to do those actions which place us under the banner of Christ on the side of good. That is the message of Archbishop Carlo Maria Vigano. We must not remain silent. We must continue to speak, but most of all, we must pray, we must repent, we must fast, we must transform and renew our minds through the Word of God, and we must create a culture and families that are conformed to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Being bland Judeo-Christian neocon conservatives is not enough. This is a spiritual battle. One reason why the message of Archbishop Vigano resonates not only with Catholics, but Christians all over the world of various stripes, evangelicals, Eastern Orthodox, is that he is proclaiming that our societal woes, our degeneracy, can only be cured and saved and redeemed through the cross of Jesus Christ. It's not going to be just conservative political commentary or Fox News reporting. It's going to be people on their knees, praying, fasting, begging God to drive out these wicked demonic principalities and powers. Thank you, Archbishop Vigano, for proclaiming the truth, for naming names, and encouraging us to get into the battle. Thank you for watching the Dr. Taylor Marshall podcast. Please hit the like button to help the algorithm, and please consider subscribing and hitting the bell so that we can see you Again, I'd also like to encourage you, if you live in an area where you don't have fellowship, you don't have a Christian community, you don't have a solid Catholic church, you don't have a Latin mass, you don't have these things for your family, consider moving to a new place. And if you do, I would encourage you to use realestateforlife.org. Real Estate for Life will help you sell your home wherever you are in the whole world and help you move, find an agent, find a home, somewhere else, wherever you want to move in the world, like Texas, where I live. So check them out, realestateforlife.org. I also want to encourage everyone to check out my most recent book, Antichrist and Apocalypse. It's a sure guide because it's a biblical guide to the Antichrist and to the end of the world. It's not sensational. It's biblical. It's based on the church fathers, the early church, and what they knew to be true about the Antichrist the final tribulation, the mark of the beast, the horror of Babylon, all that. If you want to learn more, check out my book, Antichrist and Apocalypse. And if you'd like a signed copy of Antichrist and Apocalypse, you can become a patron of this channel. Go to patreon.com forward slash DR Taylor Marshall. And there's a number of tiers there. The first tier, I'll send you a signed copy of my book, Rosary in 50 Pages with the rosary. Second tier, same thing, but an extra book, Thomas Aquinas in 50 pages. And the third tier, you'll get those two books, a rosary, a bunch of great other benefits, but also a signed copy of my latest number one best-selling book, Antichrist and Apocalypse. So to learn more and to support my work here, go to patreon.com forward slash DR Taylor Marshall. Oremos, let us pray the Hail Mary. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, or pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et et or mortis nostre. Amen. Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us. Nomine Patris et Fidi et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Thanks for watching, and remember, our Lord Jesus Christ says you're the light of the world and the salt of the earth. So go out there and be salty. God bless and Godspeed.